Summer of Wonder is almost over at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. One weekend left and a lot of change is going on. Welcome back to another video. This is Eddie Tainment and my name's Eddie and today we are back at Bush Gardens Williamsburg to get some updates. The Summer of Wonder is almost over. We got one weekend left and a new event that's around the corner as well as the fall is creeping in slowly. So Hollow Scream, we got some announcements and different things to talk about. So let's get inside the park and have some fun and we start making our way over to the entrance. And the first thing that I wanna address is member perks, because we have a lot of them going into August. All right, and we take a seat behind a sweet shop so we could check out the member perks this year. And as you can see, there is a lot of them. We got two uh, quick queues. We have also a platinum member, 20% off merchandise at the Emporium. The Summer of Wonders or the Passport to Summer is still a thing. So if you're still collecting these guys, you could potentially get yourself that extra experience for Howl Scream and the one time quick queue for every visit in August, I believe it is. We'll take a look. Yeah, so if you look on the app, it's August 1st through the 31st. Every visit, you get a single use quick queue. So you get yourself a whole ton of quick queues, at least enough so that you could do every house at least once or maybe even for your whole entire party. So I love that benefit. We'll definitely be talking about how stream later on in the video, all the updates. But yeah, there's a bunch of August, sorry for the glare, August benefits. We didn't even print them all out because there's some that we couldn't use like the extra bring a friend. They have the, the free one one free seven ounce beer, which we'll take advantage of today. But yeah, a lot of different perks. If you're not a member, something to consider. If you are a member, check it all out. This is what you get if you visit during August. And like I said, the Summer of Wonder is coming to an end. And coming to an end next Saturday, the concert series lineup will end with Montel Jordan. So if you're looking at getting yourself one of the concerts in, I think that's a great one. We actually did not get to watch any of the concerts this time around. Last year we watched Flo Rider and had an amazing time, but check it out. Over here, Squire's Grill has been open and we did a review on the food and the experience, but check it out, Squire's Sweets is now open. And that's something that I haven't seen since the last time we were here. Let's take a look at the menu. And now just taking a quick look at the menu here. It looks like it's some of the stuff that we've seen before. So we got some Cinnabon, we got Apple Delight, and these are all the funnel cakes, strawberry shortcake, hot fudge, and then soft serve ice creams. Something for the summertime if you're looking to cool down, as well as some Coke floats, it looks like. And I gotta say, at first I thought that said $73.99, but I believe that's $13.99, so not too shabby in the price either. Now we continue our way back. I want to go to Ireland because there's a show that I'm super excited for that's returning during Howl's Cream, and I'm sure some of you guys already know what I'm talking about. I want to head down that way so we can talk about that. But talking about shows, does American Jukebox end with the Summer of Wonder or does it continue to go? I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, per usual, as we make our way into Ireland, we have to pay respects to the beautiful water features here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Now, let's keep it going. And before we make it to that show, this is something that is completely new and something very cool. We have the $5 meal plan here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg, something that will help you save some money and definitely one of the cheaper options. A $5 hot dog combo located inside of Grogan's Grill. July 31st through August 14th, 11 a.m. through 7 p.m. Of course, there is taxes and the surcharge, but still, this will make it a very affordable meal your next visit to Bush Gardens Williamsburg. to stop and check out a show of Celtic Fire, a show that is great and helps you cool down on a warm day like today. But not for just any reason, that theater is gonna be holding a returning show, a fan favorite that's been away for a really long time, Fiends, returning this fall for Hollow Scream. And of course, we also have to grab, our, grab ourselves the hot dog and chips meal. And this year returning, it's gonna be Fiends the Freakle. And for those who have experienced the show, you know it's an amazing show that back in the day, everybody loved. And when it went away, people were kind of surprised because at no point in time 
did it lose its touch. It was an amazing show here for Howl Scream, and now it's returning. Um, it was a cool little announcement video. I like what they're, they've been doing this year. Howl Scream is celebrating its 25th anniversary, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the announcements, but we're excited for the return of Beans. that note we grab ourselves our free beer because it's time to cool down it's hot walking around the park we got ourselves a little bit of shade so that we could talk about the next event coming to the park and it's very fitting it's coming in two weekends so next weekend is the last weekend of the summer of wonder and after that it is the beer fest brew and barbecue so it is a little bit of a new event coming to the park because we've never had the barbecue portion but the beer fest uh, event here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg has always come around. They've always had like the live music, which is always a super fun event to come check out. And we're excited to come check it out. The park starts to cool down. The area around here in Virginia starts to cool down just in general as far as the weather. So it's a much nicer time to come to the park and enjoy these events. And then of course, Howl's Green, that time is nice and cool. Well, hopefully it's nice and cool. Typically September, October, November, Virginia starts to cool down a good amount. So it's much more comfortable to come around the park. But this new event, semi new event with the barbecue is sounding very interesting and of course per typical i do recommend downloading the app it'll help you navigate through all these different events but the beer fest brews and barbecue this year like i said we are no strangers to a beer fest but the barbecue portion is what makes it so different this year treat yourself to over 80 craft brews and cocktails from 52 breweries including 30 local virginia favorites and indulge in an all new 25 specialty barbecue dishes across the park that sounds like a whole ton of barbecue and i gotta say i do love myself some barbecue so i am excited for them to bring the beer back there's a pumpkin beer that they bring back every single year that's delicious this right here is not the pumpkin beer this is just your free beer which is not nowhere near as tasty but tasty enough and nice and refreshing during this weather but let's keep making our way through the park for our last little update now here's a serious update for you that i didn't expect dark coaster is only at a 25 minute wait let's make our way in it's been a while since we were in dark coaster all right, well, so much for a 25 minute wait. We got in line and it broke down almost immediately. And on that note, we duck on over into Fest House because I'm not gonna lie, your boy is hot. For our last and final update, but definitely not our least. Actually, it's our most favorite update and it's just around the corner after the Beer Fest brews and barbecue, we have Howl's Cream returning this year to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and it's not just your average Howl's Cream year. It is the 25th anniversary, and they've been doing things a little bit different. You've seen some of the announcement for like beans and some of like the scare zones. They're doing a little bit extra with the announcements. There's some things that have yet to be cleared up as far as like figures that you see on the website, which I will be doing a separate video for a full review of Howl's Cream coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, kind of your guide to this year's event. But while we're talking about it, let's take a quick look at everything that's been announced. And here we have it, the website on our phone. It is Howl's Cream 25 Years of Fear, and I'm really wondering who is this guy? And we'll dive into that a little bit more on my video when I do the full guide, but check it out. We got 31 days, one hour, 12 minutes, and 47 seconds and counting down for the event to start we got the event info here but let's jump straight into the meat of the potatoes here and we got the houses uh, is this the houses houses and territories so an all new clown town this one you know i think a clown house is awesome but i feel like the bayou house is already a clown house so i don't know monster manor i love myself some monsters and if they could throw in some homages to the classic universal monsters this is going to be like a halloween horror nights feel for me on my return back from my halloween horror nights trip since they open the weekend after halloween horror nights we got lost minds returning but a revamped version with what is it bloodstone we got deathwater bayou which is the one that i was referring to they already have some clowns in this one and this is the deathwater bayou morte revamped and then returning from last year as well we got killer knee diner condemned this might be the last year for killer knee diner i feel like it's been around for a really long time and although i do love it 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 can use a nice refresh of theming and then we got our territories we got the bash which 
I like the idea of the of the bash. This one was announced um, recently on their social media. I like the the like art that they use for it as well as all new Stalker Street. So this is what's going to be replacing uh, Meat Market. So R.I.P. Meat Market, and then returning Ripper Row. We can never go wrong with Ripper Row. Honestly, I I can never see another territory taking over Ripper Row, but I'm sure we'll see one. Uh, we got Fest Evil, which is obviously a festival with clowns as well. Grogan Gardens returning, and last but not least, Scary Tales. And then let's move on over. We got our sinister shows, and as we talked about, Fiends, the prequel, will be returning this year for the first time in a while, and I'm super excited for that. And of course, Monster Stump and Phantom of the Fest House. And last but not least, the Skeletons. I look forward to check out all of these shows and mostly the returning themes. And let's see, is there anything else that we could jump into? I guess we got some eerie experiences and killer deals, but we'll jump more into that in our full guide of the event. And on that note, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for this Bush Gardens Williamsburg update. There is a lot going on and stay tuned. We will be back to check out the beer beer fest and brew barbecue or however it's pronounced but we'll be back for that and then we'll be preparing for hollow scream the return of our favorite event and hopefully yours as well we'll definitely be here for the opening night of that and we got a lot coming up in the haunt season as far as traveling to different parks to check out different events thank you so much for coming along guys oh and one last thing over here at the black forest event center or event special event area there's been some construction videos or pictures that have been released and it looks like some footers are being placed back there. Could there be a coaster coming? Who knows? But guys, once again, thank you so much for coming along with us. We will see you on the next one. But up till then, don't forget to ask yourself, have you been a detained?